things I like about transformational grammar is that right from the beginning, students can make their own English. Even a beginner can make a sentence that is grammatically correct, but perhaps no one has ever said before, like, um, the hippopotamus plays the guitar, or the tomato understands the politician. Some people might object that this isn't useful English and students need to be able to learn expressions that are used in everyday situations, but I'd argue that it's useful in a different kind of way. It gives students a strong sense of language structure. This is how sentences are formed in English. And it gives them an opportunity to play around with the language and experiment with it. So far, we've studied a very simple structure in its basic form. So, when do we use this structure? When do we say things like, the snow covers the mountain, or the farmer sows the seed? We use this structure for things that are generally true, or when we want to talk about how often things happen. For example, the snow always covers the mountain. The farmer sows the seed every spring. The fish never climbs the tree. We'll talk more about this and we'll come back to this basic structure later on and look at it in more detail. For example, what is the role of the determiner? And what happens if we change it and use a different one? Or if we don't use a determiner at all? What about the inflection on the verb? What is it for? When do we use it? And what other inflections are there? And what happens if a noun is plural? We'll look at all of these and more later on. In the next video, though, I want to move forward and take a look at a simple transformation. Let's find out what transformational grammar is all about. Are you ready? Mm-hmm.